Okay, <clears throat> are we ready to make the cheesy sauce for the veggie burgers? Okay, we have soaked our cashews. We're going to add a quarter cup of water. We are going to put about one to two tablespoons of lime juice, fresh squeezed. And then we are going to put about a tablespoon of Bragg's Nutritional Yeast Seasoning in the mix. And we're going to do this in the blender. So, I'm going to add the nuts. Uh, Well, I have a small thing somewhere. <laughs> well, I can't find my small cutter, so let's do this. Set that aside for a minute. And I am just going to use a fork. And we'll squeeze out the juice of the lime. Hey, I'm getting some muscle strength there. How about that? I've been working out. <laughs> you know, when you go fully re uh, raw vegan fruitarian, um, people question sometimes, well, how do you get enough protein to build muscle? Well, we get enough protein amino acids which turns into protein and that yes helps build muscle but in all actuality that alone is not going to build your muscle you need to exercise and do uh, weight training to build up your muscles so it's, it's a combo you know eat right exercise and muscles will grow Okay, so we're going to add, there's one tablespoon and almost two tablespoons. I'm just going to put the whole half of that lemon in there. And about a tablespoon of this, maybe a little bit more, make it cheesier. There we go. I put about a tablespoon and a half of that in there. So we're going to set that up here in the blender and let's put it on low. I'm going to put the blender on very low. Pull this up here so we can see what we're doing. Let's actually move this out of the way for the moment. Okay. Now there's a trick to this. We're gonna start out slow. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water at a time. A little bit more. And then I'm going to scrape the sides down. And we'll keep doing this. And let's see if I've got enough water. Actually, what I'm going to do is remember that celery from earlier that I told you to reserve from the first video when we were making the veggie burgers? Well, we have four stalks of celery, so I'm just going to uh, chop that up real, whoop, real quick and toss that in there and see if that gives us enough liquid before I add any more water to this mix. Okay, 
So I'm going to start this and put a little bit at a time and keep going. All right, let's look and see what we've got here. Oh, we definitely got to stir that up a little. what we got here ah. oh look at that nice and thick so let's give it a taste test oh look at this for thickness that's a fork mmm oh my gee gilly was mama there's no word for that but that is Mmm. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. We are going to see if that will fit into this little container. Mmm. It might. Look how thick that is. Can you see that? Is that coming through all right? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yes, baby Taz. He wants to go O U T. S I D E. I have to spell it because he knows what the word means. <laughs> and I don't want to let him O U T because it's getting dark out. <laughs> gotta get every little drop of that out of there because that is the shadazzle that is uber good not super good that is uber good y'all let me tell you what this is the real deal that that lime juice gives it a little bit of a nice kick hi Taz would you like to say hello? There he is. See, I helps Mama in the kitchen. Look at that nice, thick, creamy, dreamy cheese sauce for our burgers. Oh my goodness. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Taz is dancing. Yes, he is. Taz is dancing. Say hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so we got cut off at the end of the video when I was uh, saying happy holidays from Taz. So please stay tuned for one more video in this series. This is a four-part series. And so far, you've got the veggie burgers, the cauliflower mashed potatoes, and gravy. And then I will also be adding uh, some vegetables. You can use any vegetable of choice, but I will add those to video number four when I plate up the meal and you can see what Thanksgiving dinner is going to look like. Have a great day. Make it fun. Make it fruitabulous.